All right, we have to drive 45 minutes to get to town, so hopefully it makes it. Diesel, you them the Carolina boys off. They didn't went and made another one. You thought you was taking one off the road. Y'all thought y'all was like, yay, took the dangerous truck off the road, can break at high speeds. Yeah. You just gonna evaporate more with some diesel. You just gonna keep them going, going, going. You gonna buy this one for 10k. Here comes another one. Boom! Even higher, even lower in the back. You're just going to evaporate more. So it's called the Carolina Squad. At North Carolina signing a bill. North Carolina lawmakers want to ban certain squatted trucks. The Carolina Squad vehicle modification is now banned. It is the end of the road for the Carolina Squad. Can someone give me a sledgehammer, please? There it stopped. So today, we're at my buddy Cody's scrapyard. Mm -hmm. Cody likes to make things not exist anymore. Just like me, Cody, who likes to make things not exist anymore. But they have this lovely uh, car shredder here. They've been kind enough to let us use it for just a couple hours here. We're gonna get to see these things uh, get shredded into like just little tiny, tiny pieces. That was a really good claw throw. I give you credit on that. That was, yeah. dude, it did like a 360 right there. That was great. <laughs> you done better? Well, I could have been better. Can you pick up both at once? Will it do it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have fun with the claw for a second, cause why not? And th and then we'll throw them in the in the shredder. Let us see your best uh your best truck toss here. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is stuff that's too big for the shredder. Oh. Comes here. There's Wait, that's too big? It'll shred the whole truck though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we shred shingles. This is like real life Wally. Oh, that's the shredder? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. That is massive. Look at that thing. I hate riding with people who drive recklessly. This old dump truck just sitting there. Can anyone be around that end at all? Or does it just spit stuff well, out? Like, will it kill you? Yeah. It can. You'd be dead like Yeah. Instantly. That's the end feed. So 
load stuff on the infeed belt. It's cat track, so just like a D9 cat link. But oh, so that's a cat. That's a wide. yeah. It's, it's all cat link. It's 80 foot long. Dad bought this machine in 2000, and then he, he uh, welded a set of truck axles to the back of that and a fifth wheel and drove that thing on a Sunday. Drove this? No permit. <laughs> drove this? And drove it here. <laughs> Holy crap! What is this? Just like you just scoop it out when it gets full. You just kind of yeah, yeah. Clean yeah. out from under. <laughs> yeah, this thing's messy. It's an older mill. And um, they're just messy. Like all this is shredded cars and. and That's insane. And you make an eight foot track plate. Uh, really? Yeah, they come from Italy, but they're. Uh... You're telling me this went through that? Yeah. Holy shit, <laughs> spit it back out. This weighs like 80 pounds, dude. Look at this. Will it ever shred stuff like that? Like I mean, it tried. It, so if we left it in there long enough, it would. I got your foot is a uh, hydraulic cylinder. That's insane, dude. <laughs> oh, <I just. laughs> yeah, it kind of struggled to shred that, it looks like. Yeah, it would eventually got it, but it's, it's still out. <laughs> so you're telling me we could, you're telling me we could drive a bulldozer up into this and leave it in there long enough, it would just... If you can get it in the mailbox, so the front, the front of it's 80 by uh, 104 inches, it's got a hole. So if you can get it in that hole and get it to... Feed it in, it'll eat it. Just casually, like cars just falling down right here in a wall. Yeah, we do. We could do up to um, uh, 150 to 300 cars in a day. In a day. Yeah, we're we'll straight. All right. Uh, when you fire it up, I'll be right here and I'm gonna run on it like it's. You'll be. You'll be dodging. Like a treadmill, like a giant. You'll be dodging do death mill. Dodging bullets. Does stuff ever like caught under it? Yeah, we get. Stuff will fall out. Of just like clog it up. Okay. This is like a building. We were talking about buying one. This is not, you can't just buy one of these. And I was like, how much for one of those? Like two million. I was like, oh, okay. This is a medium sized shredder. Oh, yeah, look at that track going up in there. Like that's actually, that's AR plates. It's, uh, AR plate. Yeah. It's like straight out of Wally. I don't feel safe walking through it. It's a little funky. Uh, this your farm. Dude does, this transformer here does the whole rest of the facility. Oh my god. Uh, it's like hot. I can feel heat coming yeah. out. And then this oh, one, I can feel it buzzing my fingers. This one just does the motor. Dude, I can feel that electric from here. This is the on off switch, he said. Yeah. So you, you hit the button. <laughs> That's the motor. Yeah. And then what it's attached to is uh, has, it's around 65 to 80,000, depending on how we dress it. 80,000 pounds? The, what it's attached to, the rotor. Oh. So that's uh, about 100,000 pounds of uh, oh. spinning wing. Oh my God, look at the U-joint. Yeah, just uh... We've been doing this all wrong. Like, my my U-joints are way too small on my truck. The concrete right here is 14 feet. Long. So this chunk, this chunk is sitting on it. For that? Yeah, 14 feet. Long. So you might miss a gas tank or somebody might have hit a propane bottle. So from all the explosions, you can just see like all the damage. Right <laughs> You mean like it shot stuff through the wall? It just rocked it. So the, the front of it is covered in AR plate. We've had some big explosions. <laughs> is yeah, it never in here that just like people are just... Yeah, um, yeah, two or three guys that are w walking around watching it while it's running. Oh my goodness. Uh, 650 yards total concrete underneath this thing to hold it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, so what happens if it seizes up? It'll just uh, just start burning down. <laughs> Does the lights dim in town when you fire it up? I think we use as much electric in an hour as they do in a month. That neighborhood doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got his little plug on. <laughs> so like we've had so many explosions that every every man door we put on this thing blew off. <laughs> but the prison, uh, our town in prison, they they uh, took the jail cells out and recycled them. So we put the prison doors on. It's a prison door. Yeah, it's the only thing that's held up. <laughs> It's okay to step on? Yeah, yeah. And that's not like a huge deal, you just kind of like... No, this thing's so thick, it just takes it. <laughs> and if you have something too big in there, instead of uh, destroying your hammers, you can reject them out that door. So that's oh, your reject. Okay. So, like all the anvils that we hid in the back seat will probably get spit out. They'll get, yeah. He'll, <laughs> we'll let them ring for a little bit, and then it'll just spit them out the back. <laughs> And that's that's all not metal. That so that is actually twenty to thirty five percent non ferrous. So we pull the steel off, send that straight to the steel mill, and then we send that to. We have some machines that pulls the aluminum out, okay. and then uh, we send it out to another companies that have more sorting equipment to pull the stainless yeah. wire. Uh, so it looks like trash, but it actually has a lot of value. Yeah, I'm sure that was pretty loud.
Oh my god, what is that? Off of a big crane. Off a crane? It's, it went around a couple times before it fell out. This, so that's a chunk of This steel. is like a, a thousand pound piece of, no, that's like two thousand pounds. Yeah, that's a chunk. <laughs> so you can see each mark in it, it's from the, it's from the, uh, uh, from a hammer hitting it. Oh my god, dude. If you leave it in there long enough, though, it'll, it'll yeah. spit it out. It'll spit it out. All of our wear materials, um, either uh, a real hardened steel or it's a mag, mag steel. So that stuff actually work hardens. Uh, so the longer you have it in there, it actually forges itself. Really? So that gets harder the longer you... Yeah, like if you cut off an inch when it's new, it weighs a pound. If you cut it off an inch when it's older, it weighs three pounds. Because uh, <laughs> it's so it keeps smacking itself. I dig the art. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, we hire a lot of prison guys. So are these more hammers? Yeah, they're yeah, all ones we just pulled out. Yeah, we just took them out. Yeah, they, um, they look a little tall. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The, um, look at that foot comparison. That's kind of not sharp anymore there. So the, what happens is, here's your hammer, and this thing's spinning in this direction. And it's spinning at 600 RPM, so the centrifugal force pulls your hammer out, and then this is your cutting side. Okay. So when um, if it takes too big of a bite, like if it hits an anvil and it's too much for it, it'll slide back and hide it. I itself. see. Okay. So then, yeah. So you're not breaking stuff every yeah, time. Yeah. Like a wood yeah. chipper, the, the, the teeth would be fixed. Yeah. With this thing, it, it'll it come back around the next time and take another bite at it. Oh, but there's not much room for it to get through because the centrifugal force keeps it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. So this thing weighs about 65 to 80 some thousand, depending on. 80,000? Wait. So when we shut it off, it takes an hour for it to stop spinning. And <laughs> it just keeps spinning. You're telling me. An hour? Yeah. An hour. Oh, man. There you go. That's ridiculous. I'm guessing there's a pretty big bearing in here then. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's... We just repla we've replaced the other yeah, one. Yeah, we burnt one up. Yeah. <laughs> it took us two days to just cut it off of it. Oh my god. $30,000 $30, bearing? bearing? Yeah, just Plus bearing. the sleeve. The sleeve was another, what, seven, eight thousand dollars yeah, Just the, the case weighs about 2,500 pounds. <laughs> Will this spin under, like, human weight? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. If you step on one side, it'll start spinning. Yeah, until you slip off and get your leg caught under you there. See, you get sucked right? under. Yeah, no, that's not safe at all. <laughs> Six to eight inch liners. Oh my god, dude. That looks like like Star Wars like ship panels or something. <laughs> what? Why did I not know this? Like this is insane. Like this is this is huge. This is not <laughs> that's insane. Oh yeah, every bit. It's just like all weight. It's just like slamming it like it's like getting hit with a school bus a thousand times a second. Like, don't slip off of that while it's spinning. Yeah, dude, that is so huge. It's bad, dude. I'm telling you, it's. I, I didn't. I thought they were bad, but I didn't realize. They were bad. Water is so gross, dude. Yeah. It's like the bits, it's like battery acid and everything, probably. Yeah, everything. It's gotta be like bad water, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Disgusting. Like, yeah. yeah. Sound like the drive shaft fell out from under it. It did, I think. Yeah, it was. It did really it like weird. five or six times. That's really weird. Dude, look at these forks. Look at these forks. Look at that fork. That bad boy's. <laughs> Where'd you get that forks at? Oh my god, dude. Thank you, Skid Lighter. Pick them up. Oh, yeah. How's this still running? You just dropped it 20 feet. <laughs> he 
huge thanks to WTF Logistics for getting these hauled up here right away. This guy can get things done, okay? This guy gets stuff hauled anywhere you need it, literally absolutely anywhere. This is like across the country in two days. If you need a semi-sized chunk of lead hauled out of a swamp, he'll get it done. So um, thanks to him for hauling things up. We brought a little gift for everyone. Last time you saw this, it was getting uh, set on the trailer with the helicopter. And now it's in Pennsylvania getting shredded up into little jars for me. You never saw this. Look how the pistons, the oil, uh, oil pan wrapped around the bottom of the crank and everything. Jeez. Yeah. Smashed it. Um, but yeah, so my beloved Hilux, my very first Hilux ever, is getting shredded into jars today as well. When you're ready, all you have to do is just hit this green button right here. That's all. That's all this starts at. Well, first you gotta run the freeze tap here. So that kicks on, wait a little bit. All right, uh, just letting everyone know we're firing it up, if everyone's ready. Ignition. Just tap it. So that rotor slips in there, you hear that kind of? Trying to get uh, what a hundred. So right, right now it's barely. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's already rolling. All right, let's get out of it. Let's get. Let's get out. Oh, it's got to calibrate again. Too many metal objects. <laughs> this is probably a massive electro vacuum. Just lost the Guess we're in the boiler room. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is freaking <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm excited. Here, I'm going to run all this stuff out that's in here. Oh, yeah. yeah just, so. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just push a button. Or yeah. You're doing the floor is shaking like that. You can feel the entire thing. Oh, it is. The, the whole, and it's on concrete, it's shaking. So basically, when he drops it in, you're gonna lift it up with this, and then I'll turn this one because we have a leak. So. Green knob up, yeah. turn this one this way. Yeah, and then it'll just... And then hit this? Yeah, we wait. Yeah, go, just run it. Reset one, I think it's 114, shaker three, and mag drum two off.
He bought this 20 years ago, and it was worn out. So, as in you're scrapping that. That'd be cool to do some of that drum. Yeah. Dude, you can <laughs> roll that one. down There's the hill. I'd buy that drum off. I'd buy a drum off. Well, you got the thing. I mean, it's going to be oversized print. We have an old one back here. Oh, yeah. I think we have, like, two of them there. Yeah. <laughs> roll it down the hill. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, my God. You better, you you better like, not have anything in the way of it, because it ain't going to stop. <laughs> hey, did you get the gas tank off of that one? Uh, that was dropped from a, a helicopter. So, it's they dropped it from a helicopter. I don't think there's anything <laughs> left. <laughs> so you're gonna lose a little bit of metal here, but okay. Now I won't pick up all of it. Now you'll see. Yeah. It'll rip pretty. So the stuff coming off that belt's non-ferrous. Well, no. Actually, right now it's uh, everything. Oh, okay. Except for the little bit of metal that the right. uh, magnet's taking out. Turn that back. It's straight. No. It's straight. Yeah. Hit. Do I turn this key off? No. Hey, there's chunks of the. Yeah. Turn on the window right now. Turn it off. I know what I'm doing. Turn it off. How do you shut off? Hey, let's go get our pieces. Let's go get our pieces. Squatted truck right now? That's a squatted truck. Look, that's an engine. That's the engine parts right there. That's a crankshaft. <laughs> that's a CV axle. That's so hot. A ball joint. A ball joint. That didn't have ball joints. This is Hilux mulch. Oh, some of those are like really heavy. Oh, yes. Look at this. Still warm. Pissed. Not from the shredder, they're warm from being in the motor. It's like a fresh kill. This is freaking awesome. Cam? Ah! Oh, yes! Oh, that's hot. Yeah. You guys know how I love my cam shafts. Did, uh, that you looks... See what it took to break, though? Thick cam, actually. Wait. Toyota knew what they were doing. You see through it? That's hollow. Valve springs. No. Those are piston return springs, Seth. Oh, there's a valve. It had bent valves. That's why that truck wasn't running good. It had bent valves. Bent valves. My best piece of advice I can give you all is don't build a squatted truck or I will hunt it down and gently put it through a car shredder. We're going to ship all this back to Tennessee and then it gets jarred up to ship to you guys for your little... to laugh at. Yeah. In your bedroom. Paperweights. Uh, so next time you see a squatted truck on the road, just know that someday you may own that truck or a little piece of it. Huge thanks to Cody here. <laughs> Huge thanks to J&K Salvage yeah, yeah. for... Uh, for helping us make this not exist. Tune in next time for what we're gonna do next time. You know what we're gonna do next time? I don't, know. Do I don't time. even, I don't even know what we're gonna do this today, but. So I just wanted to extend a genuine thank you to um, a, a American airline. Thanks for getting us home safely without getting us home at all. There's no...
frequently asked questions on if you can fly a drone in an airport. It's just around an airport. It just says around it. Once you get it in, I guess you're good. It's I in the I airport. Think. I don't need to fly this. I don't. But I'm pretty sure with the way so the all low ceilings are. So as long as no one's looking. No, I never said anything. <laughs> Being okay was the height of the ceiling. <laughs> he just said because the ceiling is low. He didn't care that it was going to cut people open. It's <laughs> about <laughs> like 40 miles an hour. Yeah, anyway, he's still hunkered down. That uh, Chris Kretz here. Hey, 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 hey. There's a cop. There's a cop right there. We do not care. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like our flight is delayed another hour after being delayed another hour. Seven hours. So we're, we're out. You good, man? I dislocated my arm. <laughs> I literally dislocated my It's like the 10th time I've dislocated that arm. I won that. Black, it's a black meat bar. Is it color right here? Um, I'm selling my squatted trucks. Why does everyone want a squatted truck? Because they're in jars where they can't hurt anyone anymore. The cumulative effort of 15 people over the course of three weeks and thousands of dollars to make this squatted truck into jars of squatted truck. What we did, we went through here. Seth, where's the coolest one? So obviously this is... <laughs> Like this bad boy, you gotta respect it. You gotta have respect for the crankshaft jar because the crankshaft jar needs two jars. <laughs> the crankshaft jar does not fit. This is half of it. <laughs> we saw this laying there. I'm like, I'm like, we gotta just put that in the jar. So, so we have half of a crankshaft <laughs> in this jar. A 2001. <laughs> we have a jar of 2001 silver. <laughs> we have a jar. <laughs> We have a jar of 2001 silver. <laughs> doesn't even fit the jar. We have a jar of... <laughs> we have a jar of 2000... <laughs> 2001 Silverado, boys. And it's got the red velvet headliner in there and some fur. You can see the fur. We have fur in there. That was on the door panel. In these jars, in this corner of my garage, there's two entire squatted trucks and there's a Toyota Hilux. It's like 8,000 pounds of jars. There's diff gears, there's gear gears, there's timing belts. All these are from our trucks. That's it. There's, it's not just random parts that we scooped up from the scrapyard. This is from our trucks. Look at those up there though. They're all humid. Dude, they're so... <laughs> that is so gross. It's like broiled squatted truck. And they're like and vacuum they, sealed. They stink, dude. They stink. They're like just boiled stench. There's some like this that have the urine of satan in them yeah this one has part of a smoothie in it no <laughs> oh it's so gross you can see like paint chips look there's oh, red yeah there's like red paint chips and stuff and what's oh. funny is that like there's no dirt in any of these there's no dirt at all like it's all anything that looks like dirt has just been like to a pulp like this used to be metal this used to be a truck uh we did we did a run of these and everyone loved it but i didn't realize like we spent a ton of time on these still but they are compared to what we have now these are walmart like, I'm super proud of what we have. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm, the transformation. So we have all glass jars now. These are all glass with a metal lid. So this is all plastic before. You, I mean, just heavy freaking stuff. So these jars are expensive. Like, we spent like $20,000 in jars for this. <laughs> this is a jar of the ring gear and the diff with the gear ratios on the jar. Like, the, out of the manual of the truck. This Chevy completed its inspection. <laughs> this one has $2,000 cash in it. Actually, it's like 600, I think. There's a bunch of hundos in there. But look at this. It's got like a freaking diff gear on top, sticking through, and then some fur. <laughs> in case you needed fur. <laughs> fur. 
We have a beautiful rod with part of the crank attached to it still. It still spins. And it says service engines. <laughs> we have a nice check engine oil level page of the manual with three valves jarred up behind it. And then there's half a hundo in there. What's wrong with this? It's like a seat belt diagram out of the manual, and then there's literally the seat belt is shredded up in the jar. So this is a truck hitting a log, and then there's a log in the jar. No, I'm joking, but there's just cool like pieces of metal. Is this the one with the keys in it? Yes. Okay. Oh, there it is. This is the one. This one literally has the keys in it from the squatted truck. Most dependable Chevy trucks. It was dependable until a 15 year old redneck kid from Alabama bought it and molested. <laughs> What's going on here, Seth? You want to explain this? Wow. Well, What'd you do? <laughs> Well, I mean... I was like, that's not going to fit. It <laughs> doesn't need to. Michelle Obama's in this one. <laughs> this jar weighs like 30 pounds. It's definitely going to break. Whoever gets this is not getting an intact jar. <laughs> Obviously, they're going to ship this one separately, so the jar is going to come. And you can... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> this one might have been a joke, but you might get this. That's sick, dude. That's so heavy. This weighs like 20 pounds. The radiator's exploding in the guy's eyes. <laughs> It like just it just like sits in here. It needs like half the headliner to cushion it from breaking the jar. You can see what does that say, Seth? What's that say? It says five thousand. So um, that says five thousand dollars. <laughs> that one's worthless because what we have here, we have another whistle diesel card. Now this one, oh man, whoever gets this jar is gonna be lucky. Because this card... Oh, that is beautiful. That's a nice, beautiful number. There's no way. That's $50,000. That says $50,000. Now, what I was covering there, there's a pin code and there's a phone number that's on here that goes to a specific phone. That if you were to get the $50,000 aluminum card in your jar, I would buy it back for $50,000 probably if, if you wanted to sell it. You know, or you could, could keep the card. But I would probably, it'd probably be worth $50,000 to me. So if you got the, and you know I hold my word. If you got the jar with the, with the $50,000 card in it, th this card means a lot to me. And I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to accidentally misplace it in one of these jars. And if someone gets it, I'd probably buy it back for $50,000. You get this jar. This is a $50,000 card. It's worth $50,000 to me. We're going to put this in the nastiest <laughs> jar we can find. Like, like you might not, you might get a jar and you'd be like, oh, I didn't get one with a cool part in it. That's okay, because you probably got a jar of fifty thousand dollars in it. We should totally. Oh, it's like oh, it's hardening. Oh no way! Dude, look, hold up, look, dude, it's like solidifying in there. It's what? like cement. Look at that. It's not even sitting down now. <laughs> Text that code to the phone number. Say hey, I got the fifty thousand dollar card, and I'll buy it for fifty thousand dollars. I am a card collect. I'm a card connoisseur, and I really would love to have this card. Fifty thousand dollar card going in, going, going. God. All right, let's seal it back up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> someone's gonna have a really bad day, and then they're gonna have a really good, good day. Good day. Like that could change someone's life. That's a big. That's a big deal. Card number one, we have five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, one thousand dollars again, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Put a ten thousand. Uh, there's a ten thousand dollar card. <laughs> whoever gets this card, whoever gets this card, it's really important. If you get this card, I'd probably break down and cry because you got the worst card. This means that you won one cent. I would still pay. I might be generous. I'd probably pay it a nickel. <laughs> I might pay you, which is worth, that's a generous offer. I mean, it's five times. Because it's a one cent card. I mean, I'm offering five times what it's worth. Um, $100. This one's cool. This particular jar is a paid trip, paid trip to WDHQ. Someone come out for a weekend and we're just gonna have freaking fun. You can drive my excavator. I want to let a random kid drive my excavator. Yes, I do. Bring your friend, we'll fly you out, and you're just going to enjoy the whole week with us. And this one is $250. Text that code to that number, and I will offer you what the card's worth. Decent amount there. This is like $65,000 or more. 
So that side to this side and behind me. This is all we have. So you guys that are entering in these truck giveaways and stuff, there's no set limit of entries. You're, and this is, like I said, this is, I would not consider this any sort of giveaway. But if you are buying apparel for a chance to win a truck, there's no set number of entries. It could be a million people that entered. Like there's no set number. They're just trying to get as many people. This is all we have. So if you buy one, it's one of these. You're gonna get one of these jars. I signed every single jar. I signed them all by hand. We took tons of time. It took three days to sign all these. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna get an empty jar. We'll put the one cent one in there. It won't be worthless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one gets a one cent. How did that happen? They would just laugh. I would honestly just laugh if that happened. But... <laughs> it's like the biggest rip off jar like this. Some of you are gonna get severely your money's worth. Like it's gonna make the rest of your life. And then one of you is just gonna lose out. So <laughs> you imagine opening <laughs> You're like, what the Look, you got a jaw. <laughs> Look, you got you gotta be able to laugh if you get that one. I'm not taking the time to put a piece of metal in there. You're just gonna get <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm keeping this one. This is my special jar. This one weighs like 10 pounds. This one is my jar. And if you have a squatted truck, I'm still buying it. I will buy every squatted truck that exists, but I'm not paying I'm not, I'm not paying a quarter of what you're asking for your mentally handicapped chromosome mobile, okay? So, um yeah, sure. I'm, I'll still buy it. I don't I don't really want to talk to you if you have one for sale. I'm not going to have any communication with you. It's just going to end up in my garage and jars probably. I know all the chromo boys are going to try to put it back together. They're gonna, they're gonna collectively, they're gonna try to buy as many as possible and they're gonna start like taping it back together. See if they can rebuild their squatted truck. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, we'll take the whole batch. And then all the squatted truck boys are gonna just get in their trailer park and they're gonna be like at, at night, like welding, welding it back together. Just trying to put their squatted truck back together. Last time when we made these, we sold out in less than three hours. So um, if you want one of these, I'd recommend getting on there quick. Proceeds from the sales of the squatted truck jars will go in to removing squatted trucks from planet Earth. Oh no, don't worry about it. Well, I just gotta take it for that. I'm gonna check it. I understand. What are you gonna check it for? The court date's not till the 31st. I'm checking it again because you're violating it's the law. It's the same dang gun okay. thing you did yesterday. All right, give me your driver's license. <laughs> oh God. Shouldn't you be like worried about like cocaine and people doing drugs, not a 17-year-old no, with tits? We're gonna see you in court. We're gonna see you in court. Yep. You ain't got nothing else better. So thankfully I saw this TikTok before I was done editing this video, but I just wanted to thank this kid for recording this interaction here because it really raises awareness for lack of brain development. And that's something that a lot of kids are struggling with in Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, generally down south here, the kids that drive these trucks. And I just wanna say that the cop had a lot more self-control than I would have in this situation. Everyone wishes that he would have drugged that kid out of that truck and that his sister would have had to walk back to the trailer park alone. Um, but maybe he'll get him next time. But I, I just wanna thank him for recording that to, to raise awareness, you know.